Hello. Hello, hello. Okay. Hi, Melanie. <laughs> and there were three people waiting, but they left. Two of them did anyway. So welcome. Why is this so freaking crooked this way, Deb? <sighs> That's not much better. Hi, Paige. Oh, my goodness. Well, this is probably going to be a fairly quick live. I don't know. We'll see. You know, I didn't start crafting until I sent you that email. <laughs> oh, boy, what a mess I am. And then every excuse, you know. Hi, Nick. Then I had to have tea, and then I had to get the mail in because I heard the mail truck. And Yeah, so I have tea, which is not a good idea to have an open cup in the craft room. Just saying, especially if you're anywhere near this stuff or embossing powder or anything like that. You all doing well, considering all the chaos in the world? Hi, Melanie. Hi, Jen. Okay, Jen is on. I'm going to make her a wrench if I can figure out how to do it. Add moderator. There we go. Okay, Jen, say something. You should now be blue. You should have your wrench. I know, Paige. You yell at me. <laughs> right. You should. Oh, it didn't work. Hmm. Oh, there it is. It worked. Yay. All right, so we have two moderators, Brandy when she's able to make it, and Jen when she's able to make it. Yay. That's And the only thing you need to do is if we get um, trolls, you know, block them or whatever. Anyway, all righty. So... Just a reminder that the new catalog is live and yeah, here's the host code for any orders under 150. Um, so we're going to focus tonight on the fine art floral suite of products. And I'll be using this again because I love it and I, I really haven't had enough time to do it justice. But this gorgeousness here, we're going to make hopefully three cards one simple we're going to start simple and we're going to get a little bit more complicated but not really just some die cuts and stuff oh well and some gold stuff and then i don't know the third one will probably be like a combination of the two or something and here's all the beautiful products love the paper this gold leaf gold gilded leafing is currently on back order already I did, Nix, but I'm not doing a haul on it because I already showed the whole catalog. So, and I kind of told you all what I'm getting. I did. Yep, I got my goodies. I got them on Thursday, yesterday. Two days. It came. Yay. And it was really weird because UPS didn't even give me a, your package has been delivered note. I just heard the door <laughs> open and close. And then, like, I got an email hours later. Anyway, I haven't used the ribbon, but maybe we'll use it on the third card, this gold. Um, it's, it's really nice. I used it on my Kesa card. It's like a mesh. It's almost like, uh, but not quite. It's a little more dense. It's not quite as open weave as the Forever Greenery one in the annual catalog, which is like this. This one is more like a closed weave with the... The gold going through it it's really pretty and it's soft this is also soft but it's a little wider and it's more open this one reminds me of gauze bandage the one from forever greenery <laughs> and this one doesn't <laughs> so anyway maybe we'll use that on the third card or i don't know maybe the first card if we feel like it um, and then there is, uh, this is still available, the heat and stick powder. And I don't know, the rest of it is all still available. So you can't order the sweet collection number right now because the gilded flakes are on back order, but everything else is available. The stamp set, the bundle, the, um, 
specialty acetate, the embossing folder, which does this, which I haven't used yet except to test it. You didn't order the gold yet? Mmm. <laughs> oh, well, I put them all away already. So, anyway, I can dig them out if you want me to do that. I have to get my receipt and see what it was because I put them all away already. But I can do that if you want. Let's make the card. We'll do it backwards. We'll make the cards first. And then if there's time and I feel like it... <laughs> We can, maybe I can dig out the stuff afterwards and see. Uh, I'm, you know, I might just have to go through the catalog and say, where, where did I mark ordered on 1-5? Um, I know Dina's set was one of them. And I think the hydrangea bundle was one of them, even though I already showed all the other stuff to go with it. And this, this Lots of Heart was one of them. So I think that's what we'll do. Um, because I've already shown the majority of it. It didn't seem like a really big haul. Hopefully it'll come back in soon, Melanie. I, I forget the date they said. And remember, sign up for your paper pumpkin kit. If you're on auto delivery, by the way, you should still get an email each month around the 11th or 12th. It says... Here's your bill for the month, and it'll be a zero amount. And that is when they're going to ship it that day or the next day. So, um, and then start looking for it seven to ten days after that, hopefully. Um, I know in December things were in still in some areas like here. Things are still a little messed up. Um, mine seems to be doing really good until it hits philly and then it's just like the tracking disappears and then magically it appears in my post office a few days later or a week or two later depending on <laughs> anyway oh december 31 might not even ship yet because of the holiday and um i know well m maybe it did i don't know did you order a two-day? Because I, I paid for two-day delivery. Otherwise, mine wouldn't be here till next week sometime if I'm lucky either. All right. So anyway, you want to get the paper pumpkin kit. I showed this one um, to add on in my last video, my paper pumpkin um, alternatives video, which, by the way, if you didn't see that, it's up for the berry comforting. But I showed this at the, I think, at the very end of that. Um, I think, yeah. Also, don't forget, demonstrators, you guys can pre-order the Hey Chick and the Hey Birthday Chick bundles. And starting February 2nd, the Hey Chick stamp set from 2017 is coming back. It will also have dies available. So if you have the stamp set, you can just get the dies. And if you don't, you can get the Hey Chick bundle. The Hey Birthday Chick stamp set's in the current mini. But if you want the dies to go with it, you wait and get it as a bundle and save yourself 10% in February 2nd. That's all I'm going to say about that. I did not order that. Um, yeah, but keep in mind, things are really messed up right now between this pandemic that is just getting... Anyway, and the basic white... Is available now. I started a demo order, but I didn't place it yet for some cardstock and envelopes because I don't really need it yet. But I just put it in there so that when I'm ready, I can hit order. Alrighty. So here's the host code. It's on my blog. It's on my Facebook group. It's on my Facebook page. And it's in the description for every video in January. Video and live stream. Alrighty. Um, okay, so the first card we're going to do, I don't even have put together yet, but we're going to do it again. It's a very simple card. It's using the designer series paper that looks like this, but I'm using the reverse side, which looks like art brush strokes. And we're just going to use a piece of white. <laughs> uh, so this is five and a quarter. It's an A2, it's a regular A2. Five and a quarter by four. Um, and then I think on the, the next version of this, I want to do something a little bit different. 
Um, and then this is five by five by three and three quarter. Um, so I'm going to show how to do this and then we'll adhere and do them, glue them all together at the same time. And this is for the inside. I haven't figured out what I want to stamp on the inside. So this is a two step stamp set and I'll probably have to stand up. Um, that's not the right stamp. Ugh. Hang on. I had to find the stuff. Here's the stamp. Is that the right stem? I have a couple different stems and pieces out. Hang on. Yeah, that's the right stem. So here's the stem. And then you have the background color one and the, I'll call it the overlay for lack of a better term. So we're going to stamp it in Flirty Flamingo. Simple and elegant. Yep. And I even got the sentiment on straight, which now I probably won't, but <laughs> I was shocked. Yeah. Sometimes you don't need to be super duper duper fancy, right? So we're just going to go straight down. Let the ink go into the paper. And voila. That's pretty by itself. But we're going to add just a touch of um, So Saffron, which is one of the colors that coordinates. Okay. Here we go. And I, I don't know if I'm, I'm doing it right, but there's a hole here and there's areas here where you can sort of judge like this solid part here kind of goes over my in frame. Yeah, the solid part there. And you can just kind of see where it goes sort of kind of, I think, like this. It honestly probably doesn't exactly matter, but just add the touch of yellow on that flower. I probably got a little off that yellow maybe should have been down just a tad, but it's okay. I like it. Then we're going to bring in old olive. And. Ooh, I'm sorry. I just bumped you. Bopped your way out of line there. <laughs> yeah, it's really pretty. Wait. Looks awesome. Thank you. What else did I? It is a gorgeous suite. The papers are gorgeous. That's what made me. Of course, I, I go by the papers and stuff. And then this is the stem, just in old olive. Which is pretty easy. It fits right up in that. I didn't even get it up as high as I did on the last one. Now, the thing is, there's dyes for all this stuff. So let me close my ink pad up. Probably should have got that up just a little tighter. But what we could do to take it up a little bit is die cut the pieces out. Like we can die cut the flower and the stem. And then just put them right on the painted background. I think we'll try that on this one. And then we'll use um, this die to put the I'm um, thinking of you on. Okay. So we'll have a simple, a sort of stepped up one. I probably should have put the stem separate. And also, this paper is probably too big. But all these in the catalog, it says they'll fit in the mini die cut machine. But my paper is too big. I would have had to have a smaller paper. So let me turn around and die cut. Okay. Cool, Melanie. Cool, cool, cool. Um, so I'm just turning around on my machine here. <laughs> and it already slid on me. Yeah. Not the machine, the, um, the die. Oh, I hope you're all having a good day. I said that already, I know. It's getting dark already. I'm ready for spring, maybe. <laughs> I'm ready to stop seeing videos pop up about what's going on in the world because I get depressed. Yesterday was pretty... 
upset about everything going on. Anyway, that's all I want to say about that. I don't want to go there. I shouldn't have brought it up. Okay, and now we're going to do the stem. Uh, let me get a sticky note. Um, ignore the company name on there because I don't even know. I think that was out of my mom's house. <laughs> and they're old and they're really sticky. So. There we go. And there we go. Whoops. So now we have a dimensional flower instead of a flat flower. And before we go any further, let's just stamp our sentiment maybe right down here. Let me get this piece up here and let me figure out what I did. Oh, here's the die. <laughs> and we're going to do that in um, Flirty Flamingo also. All right, what am I missing? You got those cards done. Oh, good. Made some tags. Excellent. Good. I've been wanting to make tags lately. I'm going to be doing that soon, I think, because I don't know. I just have the bug to, to make tags. Okay, we're going to be stamping. I am. I'm thinking of you. I'm thinking of you. And I didn't even see if this will go here. Yep. Good. Well, that's crooked as I'll get out. Good thing I didn't do it that way on the other card. <laughs> it's okay, though, because we're going to do this again. Trying to make sure the little Y goes into one of those curvy things. I think that's pretty good. Let me go cut it. And I could use the little machine, but I don't really have room on my desk at the moment. Uh, I hope that's on straight. I hope, I hope, I hope. Okay. And if I regret doing this, then guess what? We'll just stamp it the way we did the first time. There we go. <laughs> And there's our piece. Put this over here on my die sheet. And let's get rid of the ink pad and let's assemble this one. And then maybe we'll stamp something on the inside. Okay, so let me just glue this down. Glue. This seems, is this, maybe I'm down too low. Maybe because I bumped it. I don't know. Sorry, I'm jiggling you. Jiggle wiggling. The prettiest paper I haven't used yet. We're going to use another pretty paper, but it's not the prettiest to me. <laughs> so maybe we'll use the prettiest one on our third card. All right, so now we're going to need dimensionals to assemble our flower. I don't know. I kind of like it on the white background better. Maybe. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, well. That's what we're going to do. That is what we're going to do. Still pretty simple. Just die cutting instead of leaving it on the, um, on the card. I like them both. But this one shows off more of the artsy stuff. You like the white background more? Yeah, I think I do too. Well, I could put a white... Oh, well, I shouldn't have put that. I could put like a white oval behind there. You know what? Hang on. All right. Let me get like an oval thingy out. Or something. To showcase the flower. Mm, layering ovals, layering ovals. That's layering circles. 
I had this drawer all organized, and now it's like everything's just kind of here. Stitch rectangles. One of these has to be it. There we go. Last one. <laughs> Last one on the bottom. My layering ovals. And I think I'll use the scallop since we have um, the I'm thinking of you is scalloped. Now let me just see something. I probably need the biggest one. It won't fit exactly, but that's okay. I'm, I think I'm okay with that. I'm usually not okay with that, but. <laughs> Hi, Tisha. Uh, this is my first time today using it. Oh, now my friend's messaging. It happens every time, doesn't it? <laughs> All right. I'm just die cutting the largest scallop oval out of the layering ovals and we'll see how that will look and now we have a frame to use on another card because that was a good size for for the card so now that i already took the sticky off i think we'll have that go up i think we'll do that we'll just glue that down because i have the dimensionals on the actual flower And then we'll have this pop up here. And I think we'll put, um, if I can get hold of it, dimensionals on the leaves to, uh, yeah, we will. Okay. <laughs> and I think I'll put one more there. And then I'll probably. I don't know if I'll glue down that little piece right there or not. We'll see. Yeah, I kind of like that better. And I'm actually going to just put a dab of glue on the very tip of that stem because I'm always afraid they're going to get caught on stuff. Now I need my mini dimensionals and <laughs> my sheet is um, all gone. <sighs> so except for these, so I'm going to use these actually. Because we don't waste dimensionals here. Just put them sideways. One more, because so I want it to be sturdy. Oops. And then we'll put the first card that I didn't finish together too, but we have to stamp the inside of this one too. Oops, that didn't stay down, did it? I actually like that with the oval in the background. Oops, did I forget to take a thing off? I did. Ay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Might have forgotten to take two off. <laughs> All right. I like that. You like it? Hi, Brandy. Yes, the Halkettes are on tonight. Sort of. The leader of the Halkettes isn't so on, but, <laughs> but she's trying. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Let's glue the front of this one down, too, and then we'll do the inside on both of these. We're not even using any ribbon. I could look for some embellishments to put on, but I'm not going to. You know, it's kind of funny. There's no, other than the ribbon, there's no embellishments that came in this suite, but we really don't, don't need it. I made Jen a um, wrench brandy so that, you know, if you ever can't make it or, you know, don't, just don't feel like it. You're not obligated to be here just to be the wrench. Pearls have been chucked. Uh-oh. Pearls have been clutched. I can't. Boy, my eyes are going bad. All right. Now, I think I used the piece of paper. So those are the two first card versions. One just stamped. 
one stamped and die cut out and put on a, the largest white layering circle, which I think I like the second one better now. <laughs> I didn't like the flower right on the blue. But also, this is the same, same sheet of paper, but it's got some darker blue in which looks more like Pacific Point and Pool Party, but they don't have Pacific Point listed. They have Pool Party and Knight of Navy listed. I could put a little twine or something on here. I'm not going to. I'm going to keep it sort of simple. But let's stamp something on the inside. Um, now, there's not really any inside sentiments with this stamp set. This is what we're using, Art Gallery. Um, and we're using I'm Thinking of You. So we're just going to put an image in. And let's see. We have this tiny little flower here. Maybe we'll do that. Or... There's also this grouping of flowers, which I got something on, I think. I think I stuck another block on top of it. Ah, let me put that on my, my stamp cleaner thingy here. Let's see if that helps a little bit. Anyway. Okay, I think... Um, and there's also like a medium... See, this is what I do when I run out of room. Let's just put, hmm, let's just put the little flower down in the corner here. Because the next one on, I did something else. So let me get the flirty flamingo. Yeah, I do too. I do too. That's why I like that. But, yeah. Just going to put a flower here. Hmm. This actually is meant to be a top on one of these flowers or possibly the center. Like you could go in and put more dimension on here. I'm not going to do that, but I, I think I like that, like abstract art. We're just going to leave it like that. I could come back in and go off a little bit and put some yellow on, but I'm not going to. Now, the thing is, do I have another one? Yes. <laughs> I actually think that was supposed to be for my third card, but that's okay. We'll just cut more. I'm out of my pre-cut white stock. So let's glue these in. And oops, I should clean that first, I guess. I'm using my chamois. It's just starting to get a little on the dry side. I need to clean it. I need to rinse it after this session. Thank you, Brandy. Thank you, Jen. Welcome to the wrench world. <laughs> yeah, the world of the wrench. Hmm. Pretty, pretty anyway. Here, these are a little, these are five by three and three quarter. These were definitely for card number three, but that's okay. So that's card number one. This is card number two, which is a Variation on card one, and then we'll go on to card two, which we're going to do something a little different. Just a little different. <laughs> All righty, card one and two. Two's my favorite out of those two. I like this one, though, but I like seeing more of the background paper, too. And I like how this has... I mean, it's not exactly the same pattern. You could put a plain oval behind there since this has ridges here. Now we need ovals or, or something with that like postage stamp kind of look to it. <laughs> anyway, that's that one. Let me put my ovals away so I don't lose the pieces. And then we'll go on to card uh, two. So don't forget about the host code for January. For any order under 150. All right. So let me bring out card two. It's this one. So let me show you the papers again in this um, this pack. This is the prettiest one to me, and this is the one that this specialty acetate goes right over. 
and you can cut them so that you get an, I think it's like um, one, two, three. I think you can get um, six card fronts out of this plus a little extra kind of stuff. Isn't that, isn't that gorgeous? Gorgeous. Yes, I love it. So this is the one we just used because the reverse is this. And then the one we're getting ready to use is this one, except that this corner up here didn't have as many flowers on. So the card, when we do it together, is going to not be quite as busy as this one. And then you get two sheets of each, of each of these, by the way. This is the next one, also gorgeous. It's all over print. And this is the back, which I think this is terracotta tile and either flirty flamingo or petal pink. I'm not positive. Um, and then trying to make sure I don't show you the same ones twice. Then we have this one. And the back is so saffron, artsy. It's all artsy. That's why it's called Fine Art Floral. And I think there's one more. Let me see. Yes, I think. Hmm. Hmm. Hang on. I'm just trying to make sure I didn't already show you. I think I don't know. Did I show you this one? showed you that one so what am I missing so one two three four five there should be another one showed you the gray oh this one I don't think I showed this one and this is the last one Oops, backwards that's really pretty too I like that one I like the brush strokes in the background and this is looks like petal pink to me more pale sorry for the shadow I don't know why my light's giving me shadows. All right, so that's the paper. Um, let me get them all back in the thing, except for the one I want to use next. Now, the acetate also has three patterns. And I showed you the one that overlays. And then there's also this one, which I have not found to overlay. So this one would be nice because flowers and things, too. I mean, it overlays, but it would be not, it doesn't match up with flowers that I can tell. But this would be really pretty on some of those other brushstroke backgrounds. And then there's also this one, which is just a good all-around uh, pattern, acetate pattern. So there's three, and you only get one sheet each of those. So you can only, you know, but you get six cards out of that one piece. If you cut them by four by uh, five and a half. Okay. All right. So let's do this one. Now this one we are going to use the gilded flakes. And we're going to die cut this. And I'll try and bring my mini in to do that. Because it, like I said it all fits. So here's where I use the gilded flakes. That's my very first attempt at it. So it doesn't look right. Don't yell at me. <laughs> yeah. Right. Exactly. It's really pretty. You love the colors in this one? Yeah, blue and yellow, right? I know. I'm always a sucker for blue and yellow. So this is so saffron. This is stamped. It's the big flower again. The same flower we just used on card one. Except that we used um, Versamark on the overlay. And then we used our heat and stick powder and then we use the gold leafing now i learned something watching we have training in my upline group um and i didn't i couldn't follow her training because she said get a box don't use a round box and don't use a box like a shoe box that has i don't know if you can tell but there's like a well around oops you can't tell because you can't even see it there's like a well around the bottom and I have, I was planning on using a shoe box. I just put a little bit in here. The jar is like three quarters full yet, but a little goes a long way. Um, and she used static guard to spray 
her box and everything. I didn't have that, but I did use a dryer sheet and went in there. So hopefully it does look like it just came off the lid because I rubbed the inside of the lid too. Do not sneeze, do not eat, do not drink, do not have a fan on, do not have a heater that blows air on when you're using this. And try not to breathe heavy because if you do, like I'm going to be talking, I'm probably going to have to shut up while I'm rubbing this stuff on <laughs> because it, um, it blows everywhere easily. And yeah, I'll just say that. So anyway, but it's really pretty. <laughs> okay. And then um, we're going to use happy birthday this time. Let me see where that is. Here it is. Yeah. Happy birthday. Okay. And then on the inside of the card, we're going to use the medium size flower, which actually, now that I say that, that's probably what this goes to. But we're not going to use that. We're just going to use the, the bottom part. All right. So let's stop talking, Deb, and let's get moving here, huh? People don't want to be here all night. Let's stamp our flower first and then stamp our sentiment and then stamp our... No, we don't have to stamp that. We'll just get out the dies. See, this is the piece. It was like this. So this was the piece at the top that didn't have much. So where this one I had to sort of line up with the right, this one I'm going to line up more with the left. And that's a kind of a tip too when you're putting these... Um, words on I actually just use glue you could put them on with um, adhesive sheet or foam adhesive but I just didn't want to do that tonight so anyway this one's fine this one's fine just line them up under each other when you get to this they're separate die cut uh, words put your say on first and then go over and put your two on otherwise you might not have enough room for say I almost did that there's what we're going to do on the inside Okay, so let's start our stamping first. And we're going to just stamp on here. Hopefully that'll fit. Let me see. Maybe this way. Yeah. All right. And we're going to use So Saffron. And we're doing the now, there's instructions right on the page in the catalog down at the bottom that the page that has all the pictures right across from all the item codes and stuff. There's a little area where it tells you how to do this. And I followed it because this is my first time doing it. Hi, Marla. All right, so let's put this um, actually... Now we're going to stamp that in Night of Navy, the happy birthday. Okay, so now let me find my Versa mark again. I have buried it. I need a I need a new Versa mark pad. I might have another one. I don't know. And I had to stand up, guys. So same same kind of thing. We're gonna. You want to get a good amount on, though. Of the Versa mark. To kind of make sure it goes down good. And then I'm going to close that up. And then I'm going to bring in some scrap paper. I had to clean my stamp off real good first. And also, I have all these little bits over here from the dimensionals I need to get rid of them because they'll be all over the place when I run the the heat gun okay let me get a scrap mm, I thought I had a scrap I did I threw it out <laughs> okay I need a piece of paper or something <sighs> here we go I have all kinds of scrap down here all right. Sorry. I hope it didn't dry already. So you do it sort of like, you know, this stuff, like um, like you would embossing powder. So you're just going to sprinkle it on. I never used this stuff before, so I'm going to try and get as much in there back as I can from here. 
but the rest will go on the, the paper. And then hopefully we can get whatever residual is on the paper back in the cup. Oh, most of it. <laughs> okay. Let me bring that back over. And I'm going to hold it by this end and bring in the heat gun. So here goes the noise. It's called Fine Art Floral, Marla. I'll show it to you in the catalog when we're done doing this part. And really all you want is for that to get clearish. Kind of liquidy looking clearish. I think that's ready. Maybe a little more there. Okay. And then you bring in your gilded flake stuff. And we don't talk a whole lot or right over the thing. You're just going to rub it on there. <laughs> See, this guy's trying to escape already. And then it's hanging all over the thing. So just take a paintbrush or a sponge and gently wipe it off. And you can actually kind of rub it in a little better. It's a little messy, kind of gets everywhere. I got more stuff on my flower this time. But that's all right. It, we're going to be partly covered up with um, sentiment. There. Oops, see? See how that flies? <laughs> so, also, I would advise not doing it with a pet in the room. Because <laughs> they might end up being a gold pet. Um, which is not a good thing. I mean, and it's all over my sponge, so we had to be really careful. Put this on the floor. Sorry, my paper down here fell. I want to get that before my cat appears. Also, okay. So there's our there's our flower. Now we just have to die cut it. Yeah, gilding flakes. They are on back order, but they they'll be in. I don't. I forget the date. Um. But they're not, I don't think they're expecting huge, long delay times on those like they are some. So let me get the dye that goes with this flower, which is the same one we used last time. I maybe didn't get enough stuff up here and I got too much down here, but it's all good. We're going to cover it up with a sentiment anyway. So you just have to play with it. That's what I'm doing. This is the second time I've ever done it. And the, early, the other time was earlier today. <laughs> so not bad for a first timer. All right. I need my plates. They usually help. And let's see. We need plate one. And plate. Oop, oop, oop. Nope, not that one. And not that one. And plate two. And plate two. And I'm going to get a um, sticky note. Stampin' Up! has sticky notes to you all who are demos. They're in the supply area. It's like a pad of them. If I can get a hold of the stuff right. I don't even know if I'm... Almost, almost. There we go. Nope. <laughs> I had it. There we go. So how is Melanie doing? Who's playing along with us? Oops. All right. There we go. Oop, one more. Alrighty. Two. Let me move this out of the way. Oh, it did pull off some of the gilding flakes. That's okay. I actually like some of it off. You can probably brush that a little more and get more off if you want as well. So that's that. And then, oops, I had to bring that back actually. 
because we have to cut the words. And we're going to cut them out of So Saffron. So here we come again. That should be easier because I don't have to place it properly or anything. So plate one, plate two. Put the just want to say on here. And this little doohickey. This is available now, by the way, this little mini machine. I just want to slide that up a little bit. There we go. Alrighty. Here we go. Vroom, vroom, vroom. You do have to hold it down. And here we go. Now, my two is still in there. And my... Uh, one of these pieces here is for the J. <laughs> so I have to make sure I save them and save fell out. It came right out, though. All the pieces came out easily, which I like. Oops. So there's say, here's just, here's two, and here's want. Ta-da! Beautiful. And here's the thing for the J goes over it so don't lose your top to your J <laughs> all right all right now we have to stamp one more thing and die cut it which is I have a scrap here um, I need Knight of Navy oh, message redacted you're playing and have two cards done. Awesome. You're faster than me then. Wow. And we're using happy birthday, I believe. I said yes. And it's on here. I'm going to stamp it really good. Now, these are photopolymers, so you might want to put a mat under, but I'm not going to. They stamped pretty good the first time. And we're going to die cut them. I cut that out too with the with the one that looks like this. Jeez, Millie. Why don't you come here? Why don't you get on and do a live then? <laughs> Pressure. I was re-watching a training session from the other day for our group and um, somebody else is getting pressured to do a video too. Anyway. Oh, oops. I, I was automatically turning around to do it on my big machine. Ah, should not do that when I have the mini. But I'll probably still do that more. I just want to use it right now. <laughs> I haven't used it a whole lot, so I want to use it some. I love it for embossing. The small embossing folders. Oh. I think that looks straight, <laughs> but my, my eyes are crooked. I think my eyes are possibly in my head crooked, which everything else is crooked on me, so why not? <laughs> uh, it's not bad. It's not bad. Oops, and I just dropped the die. Okay. I need, a, I need like a table to my side. I have a cart, but it's full of stuff. And I have a file cabinet, which is what my big machine is on. All right, let's assemble this this cob on Knight of Navy. So we're just going to glue this down, first of all. That's the easy part, right? <laughs> yeah, she's having fun. Are you all, is anybody else crafting and making cards and stuff tonight, too? Or just watching and chilling? Cooking, whatever. What's everybody having for dinner? I don't know what we're having for dinner. Not pizza, because we had that earlier in the week. Now, before I put that on that card, I'm going to... I'm going to be bad, guys. I'm going to use my contraband glue, because it has a finer point tip on it. And I hope I didn't... I think I lost the just... Uh, after I said, don't do that, I think I did it. It's probably under something here. Oh, well. We'll put a bling on instead. I'm going to go over on this side this time.
Yeah, I know, right? Me too. And and but the problem is, so is my floor. I need to get Walmart had um, those cube units, and theirs was the right dimension, like it would fit twelve by twelve paper. I need to get that, but before I can get it, I have to, or when I would get it, um, I would have to take a whole bunch of stuff out of this room, organize it, and then bring it back up and put it on that thing. But I have to measure also first because I can't, I don't know if it'll fit where I want to fit it. Where I want to fit it, there's a card table now which has all my non stampin' up stamps and dies on <laughs> chick-fil-a to tortilla soup no i never had it but chick-fil-a <laughs> sounds really good right now what's today friday for now friday night would be a terrible night to go to chick-fil-a here it's probably like swamped it's pretty popular and it's like 20 minutes away and I still didn't get my Olive Garden birthday dinner that we were supposed to order and go pick up. I don't think we're going to do that tonight, though. Possibly tomorrow. I need to get to the grocery store soon. We're running out of we're running out of bread and a couple other things. We could get a few more things though. All right. So since I can't find my oh maybe this is it. I think I found it. All right, what I'm going to do is just, I don't know if it's the right one. I'm just going to put a dot of glue on there. <laughs> I need to get tweezers in my hand because I can't hold on to that piece. Tweezers help. And don't ask me where these tweezers came from. I don't know. My friend Charlie, when his father passed away, had bags of tweezers. The, the man used to do... Um, like preserve butterflies and stuff. So he had tweezers everywhere. <laughs> and then let's see, I think, hmm, I think we'll put it over here. We'll glue that down and then we're going to bump this up on dimensionals. So I'll just use this one because it's here and oops, and then I'll close it up. So I'll get better at this, uh, Stuff. Like I said, it's only the first time that I've used the Gilded Flakes, but, but I still think it adds some nice sparkle and stuff on there. You're having Italian sausage, dogs, and potato soup. Mm. I hate to say this, but we might be having leftover sauerkraut and hot dogs and mashed potatoes or something. I don't know. I have sauerkraut left over, but I don't have anything in it. <laughs> so we'll see I think that's what we talked about so we could use that up but honestly I'm not feeling it I'm not feeling it tonight we shall see I tried to be good at lunchtime I ate tuna on um do you guys ever hear of like um they're multi-grain pop cakes they're like puffed air and they're only like 16 calories a piece they're about the size of a normal flour tortilla, but they're thick and they do not hold liquidy stuff well. Um, but 16 calories is like, mm, and we're getting low on bread. So I had my tuna on those. I just put a little bit of tuna on each one. That was my lunch. All right. So on the inside, that came out pretty, right? Let's, let's actually put it on the card, though, right? <laughs> yeah, right. I agree. This one, this one, it just had a lot more flowers on the paper, but I probably should have used gold for the words to bring out the gold and the yellow or something, but I like it. I do like this one actually a little better. Anyway, that's funny because the first card we did, I like the, the second one better, too. Alrighty. I don't have a third card made yet, but it's all good. We'll make it together. All right, I need my Knight of Navy again. Thank you, Paige. And Jen. Yeah, exactly. More. Um, he said that. Melanie. Yeah, they're better for me. 
I have a ton of them too. I have to use them up. <laughs> All right, so I'm actually just going to stamp this flower down here, right in the bottom, in the center, on the bottom, in the center. And then I'm going to flip it over and stamp the same thing on the top or the bottom, whichever it ends up being. <laughs> uh, okay. And there we go for that. That's going to be our inside. Something a little different than just sticking a piece of paper in there like I usually do. I found blueberry bushel looks great with that. Oh, you know, if you join my team um, in January or February, you will get five packs of the Color Family Designer Series paper. One of them is the In Colors, but I believe it is the Incoming In Colors because I am pretty sure there's a blue in one of the papers too that they didn't tell us there was a blue in that paper and it's um I showed that on one of my recent videos it's sort of lighter than Pacific Point but darker than some of the other colors we have <laughs> where's Debbie oh Debbie hi Debbie you're making a mini album oh cool is there a theme to your mini album so anyway, join my team so you can get the color and show me what it is because I didn't I didn't get a pre-order in for it. Now I can't get those papers. I always usually try and get the in-color ones and one other color family. When I first joined, I got them all and then I'm like, I can't use them all up in time. Okay, so, so since this sponge had gilding flakes on it, they're now all over my desk back here. So there's... This one, and I like this one better too. I got a little more at the top this time, but I got more everywhere this time. On this one, I didn't have it in a in a container yet. I just took and picked a piece or two out of the jar with my fingers and rubbed it on over a scrap paper, which is why my scrap paper is in the trash. And I'm going to save this because, oh, I should have saved these little circles. Anyway, I think... It would look cool to use that as a shaker, perhaps, but um, I don't know. That's for another day. So there's our our second card. This were, these were our first ones for those coming in later. I love your... Yeah, exactly. Thank you, Debbie. Hi, Linda. It's okay. Oh, I'm so sorry that you're going through that. Oh, especially in this day and age. All right, so I don't have a third card ready, but I want to use that um, paper that has the overlay. And then that'll be it for Friday Night Live. Where did I put that piece of paper? Uh-oh. Hang on. I thought I had it right in the front here, but maybe I buried it with some other papers when I was showing you the papers. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh, come on, Dad. Here it is. I found it. This one. I want to use this one. So let's see. It looks like we have pool party in the background. Let's take this off for a moment. And petal pink, terracotta tile, so saffron. Maybe flirty flamingo in here too, and mossy meadow, and I don't know what that light green is. Um, it almost looks like soft sea foam, but I don't think they told us that color. No, yeah, just old olive and mossy meadow. Hmm. So what do you think? Or maybe some poppy parade in here too. I'm trying to think of what to use for a card base. <laughs> Yes, healing hugs, right. Aw, you two know each other? Or you're on the same team, maybe? I could use pool party again. Actually, let's use pool party again. I think because the background has pool party in it. And I have two right here that I forgot I had. <laughs> oh, gosh. 
Um, we could actually put the paper back there and put this over it and run this ooh, ooh, ooh. run this through the embossing folder that's part of this suite the painted texture 3d embossing folder poppy would be beautiful we can try poppy maybe we'll do one like this and one with poppy in the background Maybe we'll do the poppy one with the white overlay. And then we'll do the pool party one with the gold uh, over the top. Okay. So let me get a poppy parade. I should have it right here. How about that? I'll have to cut one. Let me move this off for a minute. I have to cut that too. Okay. And we'll just do a regular, 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 a regular, regular. I have got to this weekend change this setup because I don't have enough room <laughs> to reach around this camera like this. All right, so I'm looking for five and a half. Da -da 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 -da. Five and a half. Cut. Earlier today, I accidentally, I did that. And then I went to turn it and score it, and I cut it instead. I just wasn't paying attention. My mind wonders sometimes. We're going to score it, excuse me, at four and a quarter. And I do go back and forth a couple times with the scoring blade. Just me. I just like to get that score nice. You don't even have to score it. You can just match up your edges. But And some people do that. But I like to score it better myself. So there is that. Now we have to cut the designer paper. What do we want this card to say? First of all, I think I am going to emboss that. Um... And let's see what sentiments we have. We certainly can do the, I don't know if we'll do this because that's too big if I put this on. Um, we could do thank you. I think I have thank you out, maybe. I'm not sure, hang on. I thought I got it out, but maybe I didn't. Hmm, yes I did, it's behind my glue bottle. All right, we're going to do a thank you card, which we could probably put a thank you down here. Unfortunately, the Poppy Parade ribbon retired. Grr. And I can't use that now. I'm going to go ahead and emboss this, and then we'll bring the trimmer back in. We'll cut the designer paper. This should fit, right? Yeah, five and a quarter by four. This is five and a quarter by four. It's the one we cut the scalloped oval out of on the first card. The name is Painted, Text Painted Texture 3D Embossing Folder. Everything I'm using is part of the Fine Art Floral suite of products in the mini catalog, the January to June mini catalog. Thank you, Debbie. Family Ancestry Mini. Oh, that sounds cool. Sorry it took me so long to see your comment, Linda. Through here. Oh. Oh, cool. Thank you. All right. Well, I'm glad you found each other. Awesome. All right. So I'm using plate one and four because this is a 3D embossing folder. And it's not a mini, so it's going to the big machine. <laughs> Luckily, is isn't all the way across the room or something. See, I'm in this nice big room, but three quarters of it is for jewelry making. So, I have like a skinny little area under a slanted ceiling for my paper crafting. But it has sort of a long hallway and then sort of a half room that goes out the other side. Yeah, it's a bizarre. I, I live in an old cottage, and it's kind of weird how it's situated. 
All right, so I'm going to cut, let's see, we're going to want a pretty floral in here, but I think I want more. I think I'll just cut this bottom piece off. All right, so let me do that. Bring in the trimmer again. Let's see if we can do it together. I don't know. Whew. Plus, my camera thing is right here. All right, so I want to cut this at four. First of all, maybe. And so usually what I do is I just take this and hold it on my lap to do this while you guys are on. Or I try and get everything cut ahead of time. But I just didn't get there today. Okay, so there's four. So you should be able to get, you know, because of the overlay. Luckily, there's two pieces of this, though. This is probably my favorite paper. That one and the, the blue one that we used already. And I want this. So I'm going to cut that at five and a quarter. Actually, hmm, I might cut it at just a, I probably should have cut that. I'll cut it at five and a quarter. Maybe if I can slide it again. I'm looking at it sideways. So I'm trying to make sure I'm seeing the right lines. <laughs> All right. Now... What we'll do, let's see how that looks. Yeah, I'll have to cut a little sliver off. I think I want to go over this with my brush, a brush, blending brushes that are available now. I do have to trim that paper down just a tad. And I think then we need to have, hmm, I'm not sure I like that really. I was thinking we could put this little flower. Maybe we'll do that on the next card. We'll just stamp a flower and brush this. And on this one, we'll do something else. <laughs> I don't know what yet. Hmm. I, you know, the paper's so pretty, I almost hate to... Uh... Oh, really? <laughs> in a plastic... Oh, I wish mine could fit in a plastic tub. Hmm. Um, I think I'm going to do the, the overlay on this. So, trimmer again, guys. And the next one we're going to stamp and color. All right. So, that was from this side of the paper. Let me just make sure. Look how beautifully that lines up. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Love it. All right, this up. I have to cut it at four to move my blocks out of the way. Make sure my blades are all down. Cut it at four. Okay. Here we go. Ready? <laughs> nope. I'm going to start it. Oops. No, I have to pick my blade up. <laughs> Okay, I think I have another tip. Um, maybe I can't do this. There we go. I got it. I think there's a coating on this too, which I'm supposed to take off. But I don't know. Let me see. I'm going to cut it first. And then we'll see. Five and a quarter. Five and a quarter. Sometimes it does help to start things that are a little thicker in the middle and then go back. That's what I was trying to say earlier. All right. Let's get this out of the way and hope that I did it right. I think I did. All right. Pretty, pretty. Now I feel like I need, I don't know. Um, well, now I don't want to cover up that gold foil, so we're not going to do that. That'll be card number two, four, whatever. Um, but what I feel like I need to do something maybe some ribbon, and maybe we'll use ribbon on this one and just stamp a sentiment in a shape of some kind. <laughs> Yeah, I did say it earlier. Painted texture 3D embossing folder. 
Right. I wish they would have done it for all the sheets, though. <laughs> oh, well. Let's see. I'm trying to figure out what to do here. Maybe we'll just do a single flower again popped up in the middle with a sentiment over it. But maybe we'll do gold heat embossing on the sentiment this time in Poppy Parade. <gasps> that might be pretty. We can stamp in Poppy Parade. Have a big flame. Might be too busy though. What do you think? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Just, you know, how we did the single flower like that and this. Would that be too much on there? Maybe. Yeah, that's probably going to be too busy. It would be, but I'm not going to do a shaker card today. <laughs> it would be, except that how you'd have to... Um, Yes, you could do a shaker if you did this and bump the um, the piece up here. But then it kind of doesn't, I don't know if I like that actually. <laughs> because then you have the distance between the flower that it's lining up with. And it doesn't look like it lines up as good anymore. <sighs> decisions, decisions. This is a tough one. Maybe we should do the next one first. This is a tough one because I want to stamp. Let me think about this. Let's do the next one first. So we'll bring in Pool Party. And what did we say we were going to do? We we're going to do, let's see, this one. Oh, we could put a flower in this one because there's not as many flowers. Or even up here, I can do that. Hmm brush this with something actually i like it better on the on the um let me get the other half of the poppy parade i can figure out what i did with it there it is and score it one second Trying to decide if I want this bottom part showing through. And then let's, let's just color this and see how it comes out. And that might be the deciding factor. So I'm kind of all over the place. So sorry about that. We're going to use the new blending brushes. And then we're going to bring in Poppy Parade. Yeah. No. Nope. Deb isn't sewing. <laughs> My machine is in the basement. Not saying it should be. I got my machine so that I could use it. But yeah, I haven't yet. Well, I did once or twice. I think I made um for a challenge a while back that Kathy's cards was having, I made a stitched um pot holder pocket hanger thing. It was pretty cool actually. It was fun. Back when I was doing regular crafts. I don't do too many regular crafts now. I mostly do cards, paper crafts, and um, jewelry on my other channel. Uh, well, I used to love to sew when I was young, but I really got away from it in my adult career, which had nothing to do with crafts. Um, you know, I'd have to do that darker. I don't like that on there. And I don't really like it on there, too. I can do it darker, maybe. Let's do it darker. <laughs> it's a cool idea, but I'm not... It's looking too pinkish. I'm going to make it dark. I know you're supposed to go off the edge with it, but let's make it dark red. Like the Poppy Parade should be. Hopefully... Oops, and not bend the paper. Just figure I'm trying to use something that I had left from the card first, the first card. 
Okay, I have to try and I'm getting my fingers all messy. I'll have to wipe them off. And you should always go off the paper page first, but since I'm trying to get it dark, no need to. <laughs> Okay, that's a little better. Let's see if that looks any better. That looks a little better. Yeah, okay. Thank you, Linda. Yeah, I kind of like it dark, and I think I like it um, on the part that has more flowers showing through. So let me... Put my brush somewhere and cut off this top part. So five and a quarter is what I need to cut it at, or just slightly under, actually. And I will definitely save that, because that can go on a card. I don't waste my bits, unless they're really little. So now, if we had clear acetate, that would make a cool shaker. That would be pretty. Hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's the fine art 3D embossing folder. I like it too. I'm just trying to decide what to do with it now. Do I want to get a window sheet? I think I want a plain window sheet. And then we could do a shaker with this. Um, and I have... Sequins for everything. Let's see if we have anything in here that matches. Oops. I wasn't going to do a shaker. Ooh, looky. We have red ones. All right, guys. You talked me into a shaker, and I'm not a shaker girl. <laughs> I don't do them very often. Let me get my window sheets. I have to find my window sheets. They're over here somewhere. Oh, boy, here we go. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it's fun, except I'm not very good at them. All right, I also need these strip thingies. Okay, Stampin' Up! sells these uh, foam adhesive strips. They're skinny like that, so we'll try and use them. Let me move this one with the acetate on it away. All right, I have plain window sheets, which are just basically clear acetate. And I think I have a scrap piece. Yeah, let's see if I have a scrap piece that'll work. Maybe. I have to cut it down a little bit it's too long. Is it wide enough? It is, woohoo, all right. Yay. So, huh. And we need our static thingy. Static thingy. Okay. I need to trim this just a little bit. I'm going to use my little trimmer. I just need about a half inch off. I'm so used to having the measurements on the other side. Um that sometimes I'm not sure I really like that one just because I can't see what I'm doing. Oops. All right. Don't make me nervous now, guys. I don't make very many shakers, like I said. Okay. So I'm just going to tack this down, I guess, with um, tape. Uh, what do you call this stuff? Seal Plus. Right? On the top and on the bottom, maybe on the side and on the side. Hopefully that'll stick and not show through. Doesn't really, oops, I got it a little bit. Oh, shoot. See, this is why I don't do this. Tear, tear, tear. Oops. All right, let's try it this way. I got it too far over. Sorry about that. Wonder if a glue eraser will work on um, acetate. <laughs> All 
Maybe. Maybe not. Shouldn't have done the sides. I kind of knew that, and I did it anyway. But at least the good news is that's on the outside. So I do want to get that off before I attempt to make the shaker. Yeah, didn't expect to be doing this. We might not get to card whatever, the, the next card tonight. <laughs> Should have saved this one for another day. That looks awful. We might be starting this over. If I can get this off again, what do you think? Eh, maybe without tearing too much of the paper. Let me get a different sheet. How do you guys do this? I'm going to need to redo this whole thing. All right. Sorry. Told you I'm not a shaker person. This is why. All right. But now I have to recut an oval. I first need a piece of five and a quarter by four. I'm not a pro at that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know you are, Marla. <laughs> I know you are. But I, I don't mind shakers. I just am not very good at them. So, yeah. All right. Five and a quarter by four. I need practice is what it is. So you're making me practice. Learning with me. Now I have to get my oval out. So it's do as I say, not as I do, right? That's for the pro comment. I've only been paper crafting since January of 2017. And I've only been with Stampin' Up! since July 2nd of 2018. Are you the worst at Shakers? Well, then we're learning together, Brandy, right? So I don't know... I'm here showing you products and I'm trying to do my best. But some people are better at certain things and some people are better at other things. I tend not to be the more complicated card maker. Anyway, at least not on lives. <laughs> because this is why sometimes I have to do stuff over. All right, now I need the embossing folder. I'm going to do this all over again. And actually, no, we'll, we'll put it through the embossing folder first. I don't get my embossing folder all yucky. All right. And I do like doing this kind of stuff. I like mixed media stuff. So I just don't do it very often because I don't have time. <laughs> I don't have time. To do that and jewelry and this and so all right let me get my scrap paper back up here and we'll save that oval for some other time bring my poppy parade back in deb say i think i can I think i can i know like the little engine that could right i remember that book I think I can. I actually know I can. I just don't know if I can on a live. <laughs> sure I can. We're going to get there. It just might take a little longer. That's all. We'll do. We learned our lesson. We won't do the same mistake twice. That's the important thing, right? So the lesson is don't listen to Marla. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Sorry, Marla. It's all good. <laughs> uh. Don't put your fingers in it because you get all inky. <laughs> Never do get that wet wipe out. have to do that soon. Now, some people would call this painty paper and hang on to it for mixed media, but it has stuff on the other side. It's just a scrap. Okay, now we have to do the test. Is it dark enough? <coughs> Excuse me. I think it'll pass that way. Yeah, maybe a little bit more. I'm subbed with you. Oh, 
don't let it shake me, Debbie. <laughs> the good news is I've had these um, sequins, which are carrying over. I don't know if you can order them right now. They're carrying over, but I don't remember if they're carrying over to the annual or to the, the um, holiday mini that will come out later this year. So shh, don't tell anybody I'm using something that's it's not retired, but it's I don't know if it's available right now, but it's just sequins, right? All right. I need new window sheet. <laughs> I will not waste that window sheet, by the way. I'll cut it into smaller piece for a smaller um, shaker card at some point. I have another scrap here, but it has a hair on it stuck to it. Oh, and look at that. It fits almost perfectly. I'm going to I'm going to cut it down a little shorter than here and I am going to cut it in a little bit. So, cutting, cutting 5 and an 8. And 3 and 7 eighths I'll do. I don't want it sticking out the top. And I have to get it really close to the edge this time. The top and the bottom were okay. But maybe this is a little bit bigger piece. But I'm still going to get it close to the edge and just a little bit. And I didn't put it on the vellum. I put it on the paper. All right. Line it up. Up a little bit. Please, please, please go straight. Okay. Whew. Yay! <laughs> that part's done. Now for the hard part. <laughs> oh, no. We're all kidding. We're all kidding, kidding, kidding. All right, now we need this stuff. These strips. And before I do that, let's just go ahead and do this. Right? Do not let me forget to put the shaky bits in once we get that far. So I think how we need to do it is kind of curve it around here, right outside the oval. And then we also had to put some along the edges. Correct, I hope. Hi, Heather. We're attempting a um, shaker card. <laughs> We're using the fine art florals. And these are the foam strips that Stampin' Up! sells. And the window sheets are what we just used. Oops. I might have to, I don't want to cut it, but I also don't want it to, I'm going to cut it just a little beyond that circle. So when it comes around, hopefully it, it works. Yeah. Didn't quite. I might put another piece right behind that because it kind of didn't take. All right, I'm going to put another piece if the thing is coming off too. Let me put another piece right behind there so that can't escape, which is overkill, I know, but oh well. Get another strip out. Okay, well, that's all right. I know we all have lives outside the Halkettes, you know. <laughs> me, me included. Not much of one, but I do have one. All right, and now we're going to go around the edges here. Why is that not sticking there? So is this how you guys would do this, or would you do something different? Let me know, because... 
I haven't made a whole lot of shaker cards in my life. And here's another question. Once, well, I think I know the answer to this one. Once we get the sequins in there, then we have to put the, um, those don't need to actually be together. I'm going to use these little bits in here too, just to give it some strength and um, a couple more maybe. Wait, with the clear envelope? That's how you do yours? Okay. Oh, good, Paige. Thank you. Phew! <laughs> I have seen somebody do it with a clear envelope. Who was that that I saw do that? I don't remember. It was a pretty nice, easier way to do it. But I don't know. Okay, I'm just doing this again because I don't want my sequins to stick in there. And now we're going to have sequins everywhere because they're staticky. And I never did get them into other containers. So sh nobody's allowed to tell that I'm using these that are carried over to some new catalog. I don't know which one. But I think those colors will go pretty with this paper I hope we could actually you know what we're gonna is that too many you don't want too many I'm gonna put a little gold in there too since why not gold and silver okay that's enough that's enough we don't want it to be too much oops green goes up there put them back in the box so they don't go everywhere and get that off my desk <laughs> Now we have to take all those things off and put this on sort of straight, right? And then we glue it down onto the card. Or would you, yeah, you'd have to do that. There is such a thing as too much. I think that's okay how I have it, hopefully. So let's just peel these off and hope I can get the, the top on straight. <laughs> I'm at least going to get a E for effort, right? Uh, come on, Deb. Can't say we don't have fun here, right? All right. All righty. And now this. I maybe should attack that. Um, Oops, window sheet down a little better. And I actually am going to stand up to put that top on so I can, because I'm looking around a camera stand, you know, it's kind of hard. All right. Ah, here we go. I probably should have cut this down a little bit. Is there a trick to doing this? Pray a lot. <laughs> Woohoo! We have a shaker. Mm, I might have got too many in there. No, there they go. Alrighty. Oh, we did it, guys. We did it. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Took me two tries, but I got it. All right, now I have to glue that down onto the card. And then we're going to just put a cinnamon in here. Maybe we'll use happy birthday again. And should I do... Mm, should I do a flower stamp and have it on the front? You know, die cut it out and have it on the front. That would be pretty. Um, let's see which one... Like we could do this little grouping of flowers and die cut it and put it on the front here and then have happy birthday. 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I know. Hold my breath. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, I kind of got flustered with the first one, too, because I'm live, too, you know. All right, let me put this down first. Phew. Now watch, I'll get this all crooked. No, 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 no. We're not going to do that. We're going to stand up and get it straight, too. I'm actually shaking. I'm shaking all over. <laughs> uh, white. The upper left where the white is up here. So if I take, let me get the stamp for that flower. Mm. I could kind of have it go in from the edge and then put a little piece of twine bow or something over here on the stem. Let's let's stamp it and die cut it and see if we like it. Is this big enough to stamp it on? It is. I can stamp it right on our piece and cut it out with the dies. I think. Uh, hmm. See, here's the thing. I have to check something. Let's actually do it on a, another piece. I might have to stamp it twice. Once in Poppy Parade and once in Old Olive to get the stems. And actually, oh, that's so pretty. Does this go over? Hmm. I think this could be used on all of these and put some gold on them, but let's, um, let's stamp in Old Olive first again. I hope it looks good. We'll find out. <laughs> we shall find out. And I have to stamp it in old olive tubes, which I have out here already. I guess you could actually stamp this too onto... Um, that kind of looks like a muddy brown old olive because I think I didn't get my stamp clean enough, but it'll be all right because um, I really just, I don't know. It might, ooh, sorry. It might cut it out all at once, but I'm going to, I'll piece it together if I, if it does. We shall see. All right. I'm going to cut it on the big machine just because there's too much junk all over my desk. Let me bring the die in. And, yeah, I'll be right back. And here's my old non stampin' up sticky note. The stem kind of tells you where to line it up on here. Okay, there's the red one. No, I think it might have moved. Thank you, now it. <laughs> it did. I had a sticky note and it still moved. <sighs> well, it's okay because, eh, no, it isn't. Let me do the green one. See if we can do better on the green. I was thinking maybe I can just cut the flowers off and put them on, but I don't know why that moved on me. <sighs> I'm tired of having to do stuff twice. <laughs> oh, well. The green, yeah, the green's off, too. That's weird. My eyes must be crooked as all get out. <sighs> I don't know if I'm going to like that. The green... Let me just play with it before I uh, stamp anymore because I'm not really sure I'm feeling that. That's too much red without the green. <sighs> you know what? I think I'd rather have like a medium sized flower up there or something instead. Anyway, or just a bow. <laughs> 
or just a bow, like a gold bow over here. Let's just try that in a sentiment at the bottom. Can we just have a bow here. We could actually turn it. Oh, let's do that. No, because the flowers go that way. Let's do that. How about just a pretty bow at the top? <laughs> I don't know. Everybody's like, no, I want the flowers. Something in the upper. Oh, he already said that. White bow. Yeah, okay. Hmm. All right, let me cut this. And then a sentiment at the bottom. So if I put the bow there and then put some gems or something on there. All right, and let's do a sentiment. Um, um, I need a scrap of white big enough to die cut the sentiment out of. Here we go. I think this will do it. And I was going to do thank you, wasn't I? Which that seems kind of small now to me to go down here. Um, and it's going to be die cut also uh, with, oh, hang on, eee, stuck onto the paper still. That might be all right if I put it like there, have the bow up there, or I said I was maybe going to heat emboss in gold, but... I don't know because I don't really want Poppy Parade on the front here. Uh, well, I have to, I'd have to die cut it anyway. It's too much red flower too. I was going to put gold leaf on it. We could restamp that and do the gold gilded uh, flakes on it and see how that would look. Um, but I don't know. I'm leaning towards just a bow <laughs> for tonight. But I think that would be that would be pretty if I stamped it right again. Actually, oh, we needed that up here though. See, it kind of doesn't it doesn't look right up there anyway. Yeah, I maybe could do a little flower. I don't know. I think I'm just going to go with the bow, but I, I think I want a longer sentiment on this. So like it, so it goes across here, either off that way or over this way. Bow up there or even just centered here, but then everything's too centery. Centery. Mm -mm -mm -mm. We could do happy birthday again. Happy birthday. I don't know. It's not frou-frou-y enough. <laughs> yeah. Well. There's not too many small flower dyes here, in fact. What did I do with my other dye? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There's a die. I'm missing my big die, actually. Yikes. The one that cuts all those out. Probably dropped it somewhere. I have the words. I have the big flower. I don't have the die that... Oh, it's on my machine still. Oh, my gosh, Deb. I'm losing it. All right. Um... We could have one big flower there. Put the bow. I don't want the bow under it, though. I don't like that. Uh, yeah, maybe I could. Let me cut this and just see how that would look. Long sentiment, right. I, I agree with the long sentiment. Let me just see. I'll have to do this again. This is not the one I'm going to use, but... Um, well, it could be, but if we do this and put gilding flakes on, 
it would have to go down here with the sentiment over it and leave the bow as it is up at the top or the other way around flower there sentiment there and the bow at the bottom I think I like the better the bow at the top better like this like this and then the flowers over here and this that might work if I do these right and then do the gilding flakes and then stamp on white and cut that out and I could I could still heat emboss the happy birthday in gold but on white or I could do it on a piece of this scrap that we cut off that has a little bit of the pool party that brings out the pool party in there. All right, let's try that. Sounds like a plan, right? <laughs> Hopefully we'll get there. All right, I need to try and stamp it correctly this time. As soon as I find the stamp now. Here it is. All right. Okay. Thank you, Paige. I trust your judgment. Not that I don't trust anyone else's. <laughs> uh, okay. And since we're going to cut the leaves off down at the bottom, I don't really care about those. All right. Now... We have to get the Versamark back out and stamp the sentiment and also the um, these. And I think that's this little piece goes with all of these, maybe. That's what we're going to do. I don't know if it does, but that's what we're going to do, except I need to clean that better first from the first card. How are we doing on time? Almost two hours already, guys. You've been having fun with me for two hours. All right. I have to stand up. I guess it doesn't really matter if it's too matchy. Too matchy-matchy. I'm going to do it on all of them. Because why not? <laughs> okay. Now we need that powdery stuff. Which is called heat and stick powder. And I need to bring my scrap paper back. Oops. I'll do that clean up later. Ah! <laughs> Oops. E out of room, out of room. She says she'll do the heat clean up later. E Noise, sorry. Get it looking wet. Don't burn it. Now I have to do the cleanup while that just cools a tiny bit. And then we'll put the gilded flakes on. I don't know how long you, if you're supposed to wait or not to put those gilded flakes on. Or it's better to do it right away. I don't know. We're going to make a mess. So I'm going to leave this paper here. And bring up my container. And try not to breathe too hard. <laughs> and just push it down on there. And then we get stuff hanging everywhere. Low-hanging gilded flakes. 
<laughs> I wonder if a um, paintbrush would work better. I don't know. Ooh, I'm kind of liking that. I like it. I'm gonna, mm, I guess I'm going to leave my sponge in there this time. No, I'm not because it's going to be, ooh, it's going to be covered in them. Already sort of is. I'm sorry. I know this camera's like too close. Okay. So now we have to die cut that again and hope that we do it right. We hope that Deb does it right. We're going to get it this time. Second time's a charm. <laughs> we don't care about the stems. We just want the flowers to be right. It looks good if I can get it over at the machine good. All righty. Let's see what we can do. Put that on there. Put the plate on. Here it goes. It sort of almost looks like um, Japanese culture thing, right? It sort of reminds me of that like a kimono with that design on. Oh, look how pretty that turned out. Yay! So we were going to put that down here, cut the stems off. I'll cut them off once we get the other thing um, done, which is stamping the happy birthday. And oops, that's not the mark. And heat embossing with gold embossing powder. All right, happy, happy birthday. Well, do we want happy? Yeah, we want happy birthday. My stomach just growled. Hope you didn't hear that. <laughs> it shouldn't be that hungry. It's fine. I should not let us talk about food either because that gets me hungry. All right, so now I need my gold embossing powder. And you know what I forgot to do, guys? I forgot to use my, um, this is probably going to be a problem, too. I forgot to use my static thingy. I think it's okay. I think it'll be all right. Woohoo! All right, what am I missing here? I pulled her out of her comfort zone, but is it, aw, thank you, Brandy. And, yeah, an old toothbrush. Oh, yeah, I did hear somebody say use a toothbrush earlier um, to get the gilding flakes off. Um, but I think, hang on. Here it goes. But I think Shelly and Sarah used um, sponges, but I'm not sure I'm sold on the sponges. I think this is going to look pretty right about there. All right, be right back. <sighs> We're going to get this card done yet, huh? I need to switch my plates soon in my die cutting machine. I'll put the bottom one, I mean the top one on the bottom, and then I have a new, let's see, where do I want this over at? One more. I have to make sure the little Y goes into one of those grooves. Kind of picky that way, but not looking straight to me. There we go. Nope, up a little bit there. There we go. I think that looks good. Pretty close. All right. Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Not too shabby, as they say. All right, let's assemble this. Let's cut this little stem off down here. Some of that white. Maybe. Oops, I have to cut it up here first. 
Okay. I actually bought a, um, when I was in Singapore, I believe, I have like a kimono style, I'll call it a tunic jacket kind of thing. It has like a, one of those high collars and those frog kind of buttons. I still have that. It's beautiful. It's like a black with reds and all different color flowers on it. So that's going to go here. This is going to go here. The bow is going to go there. We're getting there. Woohoo! <laughs> Black versus fine. Ooh, sorry. Yeah. That's a, um, is that a hybriding versus fine black? Or is it a, um, it's not a dye-based ink, right? It's a, what do they call those? What's the name of that? The other kind of ink. Pigment, pigment ink. Yeah. <laughs> Soft bristles, okay. That's what I use anyway for a toothbrush. Soft bristles. And I need a mini. Oh, let's see if I have another sheet of minis here open. Yes, I do. Oh, goody. Let's figure this out. It's going to go like that. Maybe turned like that. And that, that can cover up that little hole right there. Like that. Liking it. I'm liking it. <laughs> we might not do the inside on this one <laughs> no we have to do the inside we have to do the inside all right now this needs minis anyway but i have to be careful because i only want minis from like the eye over so from here over and then we'll have to use glue a little bit I'll put three on it though because I want it to hold. Wait, what did Marla say? Pigment, yeah, pigment ink. I, I don't know why that got hidden. There we go. Not to be so dang still. Well, they always are when you first get them. That they loosen up. They definitely loosen up. All right, guys, am I getting this on straight? I think so. Woohoo! Um, I wonder if I should put some gold pearls on here still too. Oops. Let me hold that down so it so it sticks better. Well, let's figure out the inside real quick. <laughs> Heather is trying to blow Dev's mind. Thank you, Linda. I appreciate that. <laughs> right? Senior moments. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. So for the inside, guess what? I need more white paper. Ah, more pieces on that stick. All right. I don't have any more white paper to put in, so let me grab one and cut a piece. I don't know what to put on the inside since the outside's so fancy. I think I'm just gonna kind of do what I did like on the last one. could actually stamp a big flower on the inside but stamp it off a little bit if you know what I mean 
like stamp it off twice and have a big flower and the stem. I'm going to try that. The worst that can happen is I have to flip it over. <laughs> Gild the lily, right, exactly. I like doing that, stamping off and putting like a faded image inside and bring back this messy paper. Oops, but we don't want those on it. <laughs> It must have been on my sleeve or my hand. So let's see. If we do it three times, we'll go once, twice. Oh, that's not the right one. I need this one. That is the overlay for the this one. I just want this one. One, two, three. It's hard to tell when the paper's so messy. You know what? I'm going to bring in my um my piercing mat under it because it kind of feels like these aren't stamping real good one i'm using the wrong one again too stop that deb <laughs> good grief Maybe two is enough. Let's try three on here. See how it goes. Yeah, I'm glad I stamped off twice. Now I need to do it with the green old olive for the stems. That's actually a little darker than I wanted it, but oh well. Okay, I need to find my stamp. Yep, there it is. <laughs> And my stamp pad. Same thing. Gonna ink it up good. One, two. I seem to have picked up some red on that green leaf. That's it. That's what's going on the inside. All right. Let me put these on my chamois. Put my ink away. Get this mess cleaned up. Finish this card and be done. All right. That could go in the trash too. All right. Isn't that pretty? Pretty. That see that would have been pretty also under as as right under a shaker pocket. <laughs> hmm. I like it. Although I might have to frame this card and hang it on my wall for a while. <laughs> Since it took me a little while to get there. <laughs> do you guys do that? Do you hold on to stuff that took you like, you know? I really should send it to somebody that's having a birthday soon, right? I need to get cards out anyway. This this little thing needs to be trimmed down just a little bit over here. And sometimes I tuck, and I may do that later, a uh, glue dot up under, up under there. All right, well, that's card number three for tonight. Well, really, card four. So we have this one, this one, this is... Those were card two. These were card one. But one, two, three, four, five cards made. Woohoo. Gild the lily looks good. Yeah. Well, maybe on a, um, yeah, Melanie, I get the hint. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> I have like two of those to do, actually. And then I'll have to do this one another time because I'm just tired now and hungry. But we'll do this one with the acetate on also some other time. Maybe on um, Tuesday I'll, I'll start with that and then come into a different suite. Trying to show you all the sweets so that you can pick what you like and buy from me. So don't forget everybody, January has code. I'm going to throw it at you. Um, for any order under 150, 
this is a beautiful set you can probably do shakers faster than me but <laughs> and i'm sure you all have sequins but um and these are coming back these sequin assortment i just don't remember when i really like that now i maybe would have gone with a a different shade on the front though like um flirty flamingo maybe i don't know i kind of like all the red red's good for valentine's too right what did marla say <laughs> you tell them though see i wouldn't tell them that but anybody who's watching it that gets it would know that <laughs> but it came out okay thank you melanie i appreciate that you're welcome Paige. um so if you like to buy stampin up products you could always join my team great time to join get the free paper plus your starter kit plus if you join soon or later than later um you can earn extra product credits and things with stampin up during celebration only well we have other ways to earn things too but um yeah demonstrators earn things for recruiting and also for sales so yeah <laughs> you're welcome linda i appreciate you guys coming uh, i really do everyone have a wonderful evening thank you brandy um enjoy your dinners if you haven't eaten already <laughs> Thank you. Yay, I did it. I'm not traumatized by it. I almost was when this happened. That really traumatized me. And, oh, I don't want to want to cut that. Eh, I might throw it. Anyway, yeah, yeah, I'm glad it came out okay. Can't see the flowers. I don't know why they're not. It's shaking okay, I guess. There you can see some. You put some up top because there's less flowers over there. <laughs> pretty and i put some gold in to bring out the gold in the bow and the sparkles and the sentiment i like it it's not blue but i still like it <laughs> thank you thank you all right everyone i'm gonna say my usual hugs love and peace thank you for joining me and i'll be back um oops can't spell apparently i'll be back tuesday with the next live nothing on sunday um i don't think well, i do have a collab on sunday 10 on the 10th which is christmas cards don't know that that'll be stamping up stuff um probably not this time i'm not sure yet i haven't made it yet that's on my tomorrow agenda <laughs> And then jewelry for the rest of the weekend because, ugh, yeah. All right. So I'll see you all other than the 10 on the 10th and embellishments on the 11th. I'll see you Tuesday the 12th. And on Tuesday the 12th, I'll also have a video up, but it will be on my other channel because it's going to be the Joy of Blue collab. And I'm making blue jewelry all year <laughs> in that collab in addition to my other jewelry collab. So, yeah. All right, everyone. Have a great night. I'll talk to you soon. Hugs, love, and peace. Bye for now.